All right, peeps, um, another quick video. This one's gonna be pretty quick. Just having a quick look at the Heldron 2019 range. And I know it's late, I don't need to be reminded by that. I had to catch up on quite a lot of things. Uh, wow. This 009, wow. <laughs> so yes, we do know that the Heldron do um, 009 locos as looks like on the Linton and yeah Linton and Barnstable Railway and I have visited this railway it's such a lovely little railway um I yes I have footage some old footage of this railway as well really nice obviously it's I think it closed in the in in the mid to late 30s so yeah it's a cute little railway. A lot, you know, they're trying to open up, make it, uh, extend it as well. So, um, hats off to the preservation movement, helping them put the railways back. You know, us people going to visit them, us railway enthusiasts going for the galas and everything helps helps them out at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. Are we looking at double O now? I might be interested in that actually. On the 47 exit, I think that run. If, if I can remember, someone said it did a, like a night train. The uh, 4700. I think so. I think I'm right. LMS Bear Garrett. Uh, yes. <laughs> I might get one. I don't know. LNRO2. Oh, we've got a nice class 05 shunter. Yes. Another as an 07. Ah, yeah, I will be getting the class 14. That's on my to get this moment. Class 15. I don't think they were very successful, if I remember correctly. 15 and 16. I think the 16 is a re engined one, the newer engine. I might, but the main one I'm looking for at the moment is a Clayton a Class 17. Oh look, you're doing a 25 as well. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Class 26, a Class 27. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll be getting one of these as well. A Class 28. Boco, Kobo, <laughs> yeah, the wheel arrangement. Um, some of you guys would probably know, you know, and Thomas and friends there as a as a character made out of the class twenty eight. Yes, I will be getting one. Uh, class thirty three, I think. Yes, I haven't got many Helgen products. I've got a few. Hymec, yeah, that's the next one. I'll, I'll be getting Hymex pretty soon as well. Mm, puzzles unit, a rail bus. Some of you like it. Um, I don't know, it doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, the Metropolitan Bobo Electric, I mean, it's nice, but. Not for me. Oh, class eighty six. Yeah, definitely. I got a few from Hornby, but yes, I'll be looking forward to that. I'll be going to O Gauge, and uh, wow. I'm afraid. Yes, I have got an O Gauge loco, but you'll see in due course in the review. I've got a bit of track, but not much. This is for a future project. So as and when I can get my hands on it, I got it at a reasonable price, you see, so I snapped it up. I'm more on that when time permits. Obviously, it's not the right time at the moment. That's a whole, you know, I'm, I'm going into N-Gage as well. I mean, <laughs> going into O-Gage already. 
I mean, I can't, obviously I can't do as much on my double O fleet as I can in O, because obviously the pricing. But yeah, there are attractive pricing on some O gauge models, which has made it viable for me to get my hands on. Oh, class 20. I do like that. Love it with sound. You can put a little smoke effect unit as well, so it just gusts out of the exhaust. Yes, definitely. A nice whistling sound that they make. Class 25. Uh, oh, yes. Class 37. A warship. Ah, oh, so many. Is that class? Yeah, class 50. Ooh, 52 Western. I have seen some of these run at the shows, you see. Class 60. No, I still need to get a double O, let alone you know. Rail car. And you've got some... Uh, yeah, kits and accessories for O and double O. Okay, that's interesting. I have actually I have seen some of the double O and I, I have seen I think Hornby magazine has shown one of the sheds in O gauge. Ah, oh, DMUs. Okay. Yeah, but there's uh, O gauge wagons as well. Uh, as and when I'll just pick up the odd one when I can when I see it at a reasonable price. Mark ones I find quite expensive, but. I wouldn't mind building some kits if I'm honest. You get the pleasure out of making it your own, you know. I'm not really good at painting though, that's the only thing. I, I can build the kit, but when it comes to paint, I might have to pay another modeler to help me out there. Yes. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for another video coming soon. Bye.